Let's dig in. <laughs> So hey guys and welcome to a brand new episode. I'm here with Matty and Renzo. So today we are checking out a collection of retro games and hopefully we get to buy it. Checking out some games from Kristoff? Actually no, Kristoff through music we used to rehearse over in his place and uh, last week I was basically there to check out a guitar he was selling. But then we noticed a, a closet that was just filled with retro games and I was like hey I mean you're moving so you want to get rid of this stuff too it, you, you sent pictures but they weren't very clear so it wasn't clear what we were gonna get so I wasn't really expecting anything we, we, we visited people before and then we walked out with nothing he was I, like dude I got like a whole closet full of stuff I haven't touched in 10 years there was a table full of full of just full of retro games so why don't you guys come on over and check it out checking it out checking it out checking it out <laughs> <laughs> now as you've probably noticed on a channel i'm kind of over game collecting although there's still a couple ones i'm looking for but the things they got over here are pretty epic i mean six years ago i would have gone nuts over this stuff is it is it time to let go christoph it's time to let go yes yeah. everything can go i have to move and i don't okay care. I yeah. don't have room for this stuff uh, anymore, so... Okay. Well, hopefully they'll, they'll dig in and they'll, they'll find the stuff they want. <laughs> I hope so, I hope so. <laughs> Some luck, uh, we can... replenish their collection. <laughs> There's definitely some oddities in here, which is... Maybe not for everyone, but it's really cool for longtime collectors. You're seeing Dreamcast stuff, you're seeing weird Nintendo consoles and weird Nintendo uh, controller type of deals over here, and a ton of games. Now, there's good stuff in there, there's some lesser good stuff. Hopefully we can just bundle it all together, go in it with all three of us, Renzo, Maddie, and I, so we can kind of like spread the risk on it, and then uh, we'll figure out what we want to keep. Uh, but that's kind of like the plan now. So just checking out everything that's here, making sure it's kind of in order, and then we can make him an offer. He has a Virtual Boy, which is only released in Japan and the US, I believe. I don't think the Virtual Boy came over to Europe, so it's strange it's over here. And it's got the box, even. You're eyeing the Virtual Boy? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was pretty happy to see the. The Virtual Boy. Been eyeballing a Virtual Boy for uh, as long as you sold your stuff. But you have one, right? I you have just the don't have the box. Don't have the box, yes. This was basically Nintendo's next handheld console, right after the Game Boy. It would create a virtual reality, or like a 3D playing field for you, through this big binocular you would put on your head. So, it's not really handheld. Although, I have one, I played the games a little bit, they're quite fun. But yeah, at the time that it came out, I, I honestly get why this wasn't like such a big hit. Otherwise, you can just call the number. Yeah. <laughs> 1-800-NINTENDO. They'll, <laughs> They'll honor it. <laughs> They'll honor it. Which game is it? Which game is it? Probably tennis, I think. Tennis? Yeah, because I saw tennis. the manual for it. Not Wario Cruz? Oh, it's okay. da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I've been after that for a long time now. So this is right up your alley. Yeah. Okay. All right. It looks in nice condition. Yeah. Came from Game Nation. Ooh. There you go. Sticker makes it ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon. What are your cruise? Cruise? Yeah. Ooh. We never got that. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting some games, but uh, the, this uh, collection was pretty uh, pretty sizable. Uh. So as they're going through this bunch of games, opening up case after case, I get kind of boring. So I try to film a little bit of the surrounding stuff, you know, to, to really document where we are, how it's feeling, how cozy it is, and how welcoming Kristoff is. And as they're working on the games, it also allows me to ask Kristoff, hey, you got games, you got any toys to go with those games? Because usually when there's games, there's gonna be vintage toys. Don't remember this one? It's, it's a Monstro Viper from G.I. Joe and more Jurassic Park stuff. So yet yeah, we come to another closet and here it is. A couple boxes with 90s toys. I, I'd be interested in the Jurassic Park stuff for sure. Have a look. I'll, I'll have a look, yeah. 
I look in and it's Kenner and Hasbro stuff. There's G.I. Joe stuff, there's Jurassic Park, there's a compound in there. This is the playset for Jurassic Park. With an electronic computer that says over a hundred commands. And it's got bits I'm missing for mine. So I wanna get this stuff. I wanna get this included in the deal. Oh my God, you guys, check this out. Turley Gang, Turley Gang. Would there be a Turley Gang in there? And then there was this little indication of there being Turley Gang figures. So at that point I was like, I'm gonna bring out these boxes. I'm gonna go through everything. I like this dude. Yeah, you see, talking about GI Joe wins, Nick. Yeah, there's a bunch of Playmobil stuff. It's mainly 90s action, man. So I bring out the two boxes, filter through it all. There we go. Bucky O'Hare. Mr. Bucky O'Hare. So I end up with a big box that's filled with like overflowing, which is toys. And uh, it's time to check in with the guys. Have they gone through all these discs yet? In this moment when we were checking out the discs, I, I noticed where, where did it go? So I hear him uh, snickering in the room uh, next to it. And uh, I, uh, I wanted to take a peek and I was like, oh, he found a box of toys already. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> see where you're going with this. <laughs> you want to see what I found? Yeah. yeah. I found a sure. cat. <laughs> But he had some toys, so I dug out the Bucky O'Hare. I saw the Bucky O'Hare in there. That's a that's a nice one. That's a cool thing. And some Turley Gang bits, yeah. and you know some I don't know what Joey's, Joey's, Joey's and yeah. Jurassic Parks. See, awesome stuff. Keep man. him busy. Yeah, it's his problem. I don't know. And the box isn't going into the deal. Uh, he has to negotiate it on his own. Uh, if he sneaks off to get some other stuff, I don't care. Yeah, it's not going in our pile, so... <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Yes. Does it have the, the, the thing for the... Because the, mine, I have a, the thing to put the cannon in. There's yeah. like a big yeah, cannon yeah, on yeah, it. I'm cannon. missing the thing that holds oh, the cannon. Oh, the, the thing? That I, thing. Th this yeah. thing, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a couple, so okay. I, I can help you out. So we can help you out, man. I can so. do that. <laughs> it's Bucky O'Hare from the NES game. Yeah, it's Bucky O'Hare. <laughs> That's good and everything. Yeah, cool man. Yeah, I, I, I kind of like want to throw in this box with yeah. the other stuff. What do you think? You're gonna pay up for it, I think. <laughs> you're on your own. <laughs> did you did you see the the light? Yeah, yeah. How is it? Looks cool. Looks cool. Did yeah. you see the back on it? No, but I think I saw the picture. Yeah. It has yeah. the Nintendo on, on yeah. it. Yeah. First things first. First things first. First the hard work. <laughs> what are you doing? You're checking everything? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Every single thing? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What are you looking for? Like a golden ticket inside? Yeah. This thing? <laughs> <laughs> slice the pizza? Where's the slice? No dignity to be found. <laughs> <laughs> so anything good in here? Yeah, yeah, some good stuff in here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah. Good stuff means Lots of money, right? <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> What's going through your mind, Renzo? Uh, not much. As usual. <laughs> As usual? <laughs> the Rolling Thunder Tree. That was the first thing I uh, my eyes went for. I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Flying straight to your face, man. <laughs> I think he is. Yeah, I'm sure of it. He definitely is. Looks good, huh? Looks good. Yeah. Does it look okay? Fine yeah. table. Yeah. You check that. Solid the, table. You check that the lamp <laughs> over there. Now the other thing Christoph has is this Nintendo light up sign. This is one of the most epic finds we've had on the channel, honestly. No, not yet. Not yet? yet? All right, let's let's thing. check out the lamp here. Because this is, this is like epic the thing that nobody yeah. has, right? Yeah. This is, yeah. What's cool? What, what's like the serial number on it? So we can document it. People, <laughs> people know where it's at. I, I think... The tail back here? Yeah. The tail's in the... And it just lights up 
being red. I, yeah. I guess. Okay. Yeah. And then on the back you have the logo, like this. But then the PS de Resistance, the Nintendo uh, light. We plugged it in, we checked it out, I was like, whoa. <laughs> I was immediately in love with this thing. It would look really cool in my games room. This is the NES M37R Super Bright light up sign by Nintendo. And it's still in good condition. It's still working. Sure, there's a little bit of flickering. <laughs> you just found it on a second hand wet yeah, shop? Yeah, 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 yeah. What? But years ago, years ago. Okay. Probably, I don't know how long you've been collecting, but maybe before you guys even start. Yeah. So around 2000s or <laughs> yeah, 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 early 2000s. Like early 2000s. Awesome. It was one of the first things that sparked my interest in collecting video games. Because this is what only the shops had. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. That makes it strange that it just like popped up on yeah. like a second hand. Yeah. Sometimes they pop up. Eh? Yeah. A few months ago there was one on, uh, on, on uh, second hand. I think seeing that light up sign definitely lit up Maddie's day because he's he's like totally into that stuff. Would it look nice in your games rooms? It would look very nice in my games rooms. <laughs> Beautiful man. <laughs> um, I normally don't go for stuff like that, but when I, uh, I saw it, on, it looked extremely good. Yeah, uh, I wanted it. And the Miracle Piano. And then he also has a Miracle Piano in box, which he actually uses because it's a MIDI piano, so he actually gets to use it making music and stuff. But uh, he, he has it for sale, but somehow we're just not going for it. I don't think we included it in the deal. What do you think of the Miracle Piano? The Miracle Piano is an extremely big box, so it's um, kind of a hassle to put in your games rooms. Hunk of junk! <laughs> Hunk of junk! <laughs> You're not interested in it? It's got totally the box not. and everything. Yeah, no, totally not. Totally not? No, no. O always cool to see, but I don't have the room for it, so we didn't I, I th we, we didn't pick it up. I don't care for a piano. Okay. I don't care for games. It's game, got, games it's got Nintendo stuff. on it. Yeah. I don't Nintendo. care for uh, Nintendo teaching me stuff, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it was still really cool to see. It's just really big, bulky. It doesn't have the NES game, but it does have the box, so... I don't know, why, why do we leave this behind, honestly? Why? <laughs> so after a while, we all kind of know what's here. We kind of calculate in our heads, like, what this is going to be worth. We're li really nervous about it, uh, going into the ne negotiation with Christophe. It's time to let go. He's a really chill guy, so... Yes, everything can go. I have to move. I picked up my, uh, my, <laughs> my courage and I was like, I'm going to just spit out a number. We knew what everything was worth and then we threw a fair prize at them, I think. The first number I, I shouted out, uh, he almost took it. I thought it was a fair chance that he was gonna go for it, yeah. I was like thinking about it, so we raised the prize a little bit and it was a done deal. You're packing in? Packing in the stuff, deal was made. You, you made the deal? Happy camper, Are let's go! Camper? <laughs> and we end up going uh, all in on everything that's on the table apart from Miracle Piano and we're going in 500 euros each. The deal was one of the best deals we ever had I think. Um, the value is there. There are a couple of pieces that aren't really worth uh, all that much but it's fun to dig in and, and, and draft them out. Yeah. So, so what was it, the deal? You got it for what you wanted? I think so, we got it for yeah. what we want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Are That's you happy? Are yeah, you... very happy. Yeah. Right. Wasn't too hard of a, are, are we gonna of a negotiation. To, are we but... going to have to draft this stuff? Yeah, probably. Who's, who's yeah. going to get that virtual box? Me. <laughs> oh, <geez>. Me! <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. You're grabbing the light as well? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I think we're going to need to do a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got the pay separate for my box of toys, but that's just how it goes because now these are all mine, Maddie. It's the end of an era. Okay. I'm saying goodbye to my childhood. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Hello, Hello to me, <laughs> Packed it all up. So, uh, yeah. Let's go and draft this stuff out. Yes. Barbecue? 
<laughs> to the barbecue. <laughs> to the barbecue. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna meet up to draft out these games, but first let's take a look at the box of toys that I got for 60 euros. Let's see what's in it. Most of the stuff was incomplete, but there's some good parts in it. Um, th there's definitely some parts in there that I am missing for my collection and I already have like you know the eggs over here on this 1993 Kenner's compound uh, command center this is the first place set that ever came out for Jurassic Park then we have the 1993 jungle Explorer this one still has the weapon up top over there but it's missing some of these things right here but this is still in really good condition so I might actually use this one and uh, just add my bits and bobs in there that I'm uh, I, I still have on my other ones and make a really nice looking one because the, the stickers on this one are still really good there's a couple guys in there as well over here you got the Jurassic Park um, the 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 big gates there's one flame on there uh, <laughs> I'm missing all of them so at least I have one now and uh, we do have all of the side panels that go with it this is something to like hold one of the dinosaurs so you can hook it up like that what else was in here we found this one bit of turly gang goodness so that's gonna go to one of the ones I already have then we have some core guys over here that are you know they're broken, but we can fix those. We have some Eco Warriors. We got the 1993 Monstro Viper, which is from the Mega Marines subset. The Monstro Viper, he looks awesome. He has both of his weapons, but he doesn't have the putty that he, that came with him. Then we have a Bucky O'Hare, a Hasbro 1991. We got this really cute little Tomy character. I don't know what that is, but it looked cool. We got this knockoff type of Therodactyl. And over here, we have the mean dog or what's left of it this is one of the uh toys i had played with a lot as a kid so it's always cool to come across this one but it's broken as you can see like the wheels on the back over here i was kind of just going into this box not knowing if anything was going to be complete just sorting out little bits and pieces um and yeah, lastly, we have this pretty epic 1993 um, Hasbro Starfighter out of the Star Brigade subset. And this one has version 3 um, sci-fi in there with its weapon. So this thing is pretty complete. It's not very valuable. But what I love about this piece here is that it's not too big. So you can actually put it in like a glass case and it not taking over the complete shelf so this is definitely going to be a keeper i love this and it, it looks in good condition there's probably a couple bits missing but i love the way this looks honestly so that's what was in my little box that i found in the closet over there <laughs> uh, how do you think i did for 60 euros guys <laughs> Today we have the task of trying to figure out all of this stuff here, the the big lot on how we're gonna gonna get to do all that, right? We're gonna have to draft it. Yes. Let's go. Who's, who's excited for drafting Woo! today? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Renzo, what's what's your plan of attack? You want you just want to go for the big stuff? Yeah, the big lamp. The big lamp? Yes. And the other stuff doesn't matter anymore. No. Okay. Start with the small stuff. I really want the, the Shinmus for the Dreamcast because they were like really minty, and it's like a, a stable game for the Dreamcast. Uh, uh, I really want that. I want the, the boxed Virtual Boy. Uh, bad. I really want it bad. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm gonna take a little snoop around and see what I'm gonna go for yeah. first. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not feeling confident about the, the draft, no, because Rinzo is uh, uh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. So sometimes. Uh... <laughs> so you made a list? Yes. Everything always. by value? Yes. Naturally. Naturally? There's yes. always a list. Every, every time. Renzo's <laughs> list. <laughs> My plan of attack? I don't really have, I'm just gonna wing it, I think. <laughs> what do you think, Mary? Looks good, yeah? Just uh, how I remembered it. So, pretty good. <laughs> Nothing's missing. <laughs> Nothing is, uh, yeah. Chicken it out. I want it. The lamp situation, because that's gonna dictate how much 
you're gonna get out of this lot. Uh, we basically divide it up in value and then we try to, you know, equal it down as we draft. Whoever gets this lamp is, you know, not getting a lot of stuff else because, well, it's, it's the most valuable thing in there. I'm not feeling it. I already have two awesome Nintendo light up signs, which I bought a couple years ago and it was one of the best deals I ever found, honestly. All right, guys, I am about to leave to go and pick up a very cool item, something gaming related, but truly uncommon. a long drive but I managed to come home with this thing right here this vintage Mario toy store display it like instantly mailed me when I almost got home with this thing like uh, I found another thing so it seems like before I can show you what I picked up the other day um, the guy actually called me back and he was like I found some more stuff so he sent me a picture of a Game Boy light-up sign I was like I need to have this. Over here, we got uh, the Nintendo Game Boy store display. Uh, I couldn't believe my eyes when he said, like, I found another, and it's, it's for Game Boy, or... Uh, he, he didn't really pronounce it properly. It's like boy game or, or something like that. That's so freaking cool. So yeah, this one still works. The reason I actually got these is because he just put up, this is a light up sign. No mentioning of Nintendo, no mentioning of Mario or anything. So nobody could find it. That's why I got these two awesome light up signs. Do you want it? Yes. The lamp situation. After a while, it's pretty obvious. Not just Maddie wants it, Lorenzo as well. No matter what, I'm gonna go home with it. I don't care. <laughs> I knew it when we were buying it. It was gonna be this way. So I cook up a little Nintendo quiz and see who has the most wits about Nintendo. We got a hundred questions here. A hundred. <laughs> so um, yeah, if if you get to advance by three questions, then you. Win. Are you excited? I can feel the tension. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Matty, in what year was the Nintendo 64 officially released? Uh... <laughs> 99? When he gets it wrong, can I? Yeah, you can do it. 1996. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Renzo, what is the most popular, best-selling Nintendo exclusive game of all time? Wii Sports? No, it's not. Super Mario Brothers? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Mother Brain. 3 to 1. 3 to 1, yeah. So... You need one, eh? You yes. need one. It actually seemed like Renzo is gonna win. He gets all the easy ones. Mati. <laughs> Felt the stress uh, right there, uh, so... <laughs> Mati. What is the name of Nintendo's first handheld gaming device? The Game & Watch. Game & Watch, yes! Woo! One point for you. One point! At first I was taking the lead, but then... Uh, mm. Nobody gets the land. <laughs> <laughs> Fox McCloud. Which Nintendo game franchise features a character named Tom Nook? Animal Crossing. Oh! <laughs> it's <Really>? getting... <laughs> <laughs> Which Nintendo game involves building and managing a city on a deserted island. Sim City? Animal Crossing. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> For a long time it we went head to head. Seven, eight, nine, ten, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. When it was getting tense, the harder questions came. What is the name of the mushroom that makes Mario bigger? <laughs> <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Super mushroom? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good way to go about it, yeah. Can pay your go. <laughs> <laughs> Renzo, his Japanese names don't go further than Gunpei Yokoi. Gunpei Yokoi? Japanese names is not my cup of tea. It could have been an answer, obviously, but it, it wasn't for any of those questions. Gunpei Yokoi? Sakurai, you Yes! If you got, get this, I know. That's why I'm thinking so hard. <laughs> and he comes to like the match point 
What was the first Nintendo console to support online gaming? 64? Yes. With the DD? Mm -hmm. huh? Attachment? Yeah. Yes. I don't edit. Yeah. Yes! Oh! Hey! I'm very happy. <laughs> But that means it's gonna take a big cut out of your yeah, share. Yeah, out of my place. shares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm happy. I'm fine with that. So you owe us money now? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, Matty won fair and square, so now I want a draft. Okay, so we pretty much have our stuff already lined up against Matty's stuff because he took away the big light. And now he gets to join in on the drafting fun. Do you think there's anything good left? Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> How are you gonna go about this? I don't know, man. I don't know. How are you gonna you, take you my go time. first? <laughs> are you are you looking at my pile here? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of my pile? Some good choices. Yeah? Yeah. Is it surprising I made good choices? Sometimes. <laughs> So yeah, here you have it. This is the stuff I'm taking home and Renzo's taking home that equals out what the Nintendo Lite is worth compared to the other ones. There's still some stuff left that we are gonna have to, you know, um, divide up. What do you think, Renny? You like that big stack of games? Yes. Yeah. Good stuff in there? Good stuff all around. Stuff you want for your collection? The draft went according to plan, I think. That's the way we do it always. Um, and everybody got, gets to walk away with Lots of cool stuff. And the rolling thunder tree. The rolling thunder. That's what, what what got you going for this deal, right? The rolling yeah, thunder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. What type of game is it? Uh, it's a rolling thunder. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rolling thunder game. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Did not see that one coming. Ah, petit feu, fighting force. Ah, oui. I really got the scraps, yeah, yeah, but it's okay. I uh, I can sell anything, so. <laughs> I thought it was a fun experience. Um, we got along, we met some nice sellers. I want to thank Christoph so much for letting us film and allowing us to get this awesome deal. I hope the move is going well and we'll come by and visit the tattoo studio a little bit later, hopefully. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank Maddie, I want to thank Renzo, I want to thank Christoph and his girlfriend once again. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video and I hope to see you at one of the next conventions. This week on Saturday, I will be over at Toy Plosion in Germany. It's a really cool convention. I love going there, so I can't wait to meet up with Toy Shop on Tour guys. I can't wait to meet up with Fins from Keep It Mint In Mind and a ton of other YouTubers there. Then we will have Vintage Toys of the Universe. We will have Retro Heaven and a couple other awesome uh, conventions to go and look forward to. So yeah, leave that in the comments below what you thought was a cool pickup in this video and I hope to see you in the next one. See you later. Bye!